Hey guys, it's me, JSHDIY, and welcome back to the Happy Side of YouTube. Today, I'm going to be testing out ways to make slime out of water and without any glue. And all of the ingredients can be found in your house. Notification squad shoutouts today go to Zuga Anime, The Nonsense Channel, AK Wolf, and Labini Martin. If you would like a shout out in one of my videos, all you have to do is turn on the notification bell and subscribe and watch this whole video start to finish, and you'll get one in my next video. Also, if you would like to be entered in my current iPhone X giveaway, all you have to do is watch this whole video without skipping and be subscribed, and I will enter you to have a really good chance of winning one of these iPhone Xs. The first recipe I'm gonna be testing today is making slime out of ice. So basically, to make the slime out of ice, supposedly you're just supposed to have like a cup or container of ice, some dish soap, and what you have to do is just add the dish soap on top of the ice. The dish soap is supposed to kind of freeze, but that didn't happen for mine. And then the next step to this was adding in some minty mouthwash. So I use this Listerine one. I never have been successful at making mouthwash slime, so I was kind of skeptical of this working, but I added in the Listerine anyways and I let it sit for a little bit hoping it would kind of freeze and I stirred it and nothing happened and I even mixed it for a long time hoping the ice would I guess like transfer its coldness into the dish soap but it was completely a fail so do not try this recipe it did not work this next recipe I'm so proud to show you because I completely made this recipe up by myself for this recipe you're going to be needing some water tape paper and a pencil with an eraser Starting off, you want to take a piece of your tape and make it into kind of like a half loop, if that makes sense. And then you want to stick it to your piece of paper. And you need the sticky side of the tape to face up. This might be kind of confusing, but what you want to do is take your eraser and rub it onto the sticky part of the tape like you were erasing something in pencil. And keep doing that until you see the shreds of the eraser sticking to the, um, I guess like, sticky part of the tape and it should create kind of like a slime as you guys can see i went through the whole entire eraser by the way you guys this does take a while but after a while it will kind of all clump together and make this kind of like clay texture then you want to dunk it in the water and let it sit for a little bit and it should make kind of like a butter slime this recipe is so strange but it works so well and i'm super impressed by it for this next recipe, yeah, I'm going to be testing out a clear jiggly soap slime recipe. The first ingredient you need for this is some shower jelly. I use this one I got at Bath & Body Works for Christmas. The recipe then showed them adding in some gel hand wash, so I added in some of this one that is from Method. The last ingredient you need before activation is some more gel body wash. I used this Irish Spring one because it was the exact one they used in the video. And I added in a little bit. I was eyeballing everything because there was no exact measurements in the video. Then I just went in and mixed all these soaps together and it made this nice neon green color, which I was super pleased with. And then you need to add in a lot of water to make it jiggly. So I just use this Evian water as the water because I had opened it earlier for the video. I've mixed that up and I'm going to add in a little bit more water because that's what the recipe says to do. Again, you guys, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right because there is no measurements. But I'm going to add in a little bit more water because it says to do three increments. There we go. And we'll mix it all up. I'm really hoping for this to be super clear, but the air bubbles aren't popping. So I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. But the last step is activating it. So let's get our activators. To activate the slime, you are going to be needing a little bit of baking soda. So I'm going to just put it in my hands and then mix it all in so I don't add in too much. The recipe also calls for a sprinkle of salt. So I'm going to add a few dashes of salt in and then I'm going to mix it all up really well. And that should activate everything off. Ah. Yeah, I see it thickening up a little bit, but I'm still a little bit concerned. I'm going to add in a little bit more salt because that seems to be working. There we go. There we go. I think that's doing the trick. I'm just going to mix it a lot so that the texture has more air bubbles so it will be thicker. And then I'm going to let it clear up to see how everything looks. You guys see this? It's kind of becoming a little bit less sticky and it feels a little less like soap although it's super soapy i think to cover this up because this doesn't have a bowl and i want it to clear up in here i'm just going to put like a bowl 
on top of this so i'm gonna go get that right now this is what the slime looked like after it cleared up it actually took two and a half days to clear up so it kind of took a while but not that bad considering how much slime it was The slime did get stickier and it did start to rip a little bit, but this recipe turned out really well, so I would totally recommend it to you guys if you want to make some slime without any glue. Now I'm going to be testing out hair gel water slime. So for this, you need some Max Hold hair gel. So I found this avocado one, and then you want to add some to your bowl. After you have a good amount of hair gel in your bowl, all you have to do is freeze it for 10 minutes in the freezer and it is supposed to thicken up a little bit, but there's still more steps left to it. So this is what it looked like after it froze. It didn't thicken up very much, but I decided to keep following the tutorial. So basically what they did next was adding in some water and then they mixed it up. And this is when you could kind of see it thickening up, which was kind of strange, but I did mix it up and I could kind of feel the texture thickening back up to its original consistency, which was kind of strange. It was almost like the hair gel absorbed the water in. So then after that, you have to add in a facial cleansing wash. So I added this one in that I just got at Target and I mixed all that together. For some reason, it just turned super watery and did not turn into slime. So this recipe was sadly a fail. A recipe I've been seeing floating around YouTube for a long time was Vaseline slime. And I got Vaseline for this recipe and for some reason I couldn't find it, but I found it in a drawer. So I'm gonna be testing this out right now. So basically you need some Vaseline and some water and then you want to mix those two together. And it's supposed to make slime, but when I mix it together, it, nothing really happened so this recipe was sadly a fail okay so the last recipe i'm going to be testing is making thick slime without glue so for this you're going to be needing some cornstarch so add some cornstarch to your bowl and then you want to add some foaming hand wash i have this method one and after you do that you want to mix it all up really well and if the texture is still dry just add in a few more pumps of the foaming hand wash and again mix it super super well until there is no chunks of cornstarch then you're going to be needing a regular hand wash, so basically one that is not foaming, and you want to add in even amounts, so basically even amounts of the clear hand wash to even amounts of the cornstarch mixture. Then you need to microwave that mixture for 45 seconds and stir it up super well. Now you have to activate it, and for this you are going to be needing some alum. Basically you want the alum to dry in a little bit, and then you want to mix everything in. Alum can be used as a drying agent, so I think that is why this kind of clumps up. But after mixing it for a long time, I thought it wasn't going to be working, but then it kind of finally clumped up a little bit and made a super sticky, soapy slime, but I would still say it was a success. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I had a great time hanging out with all of you. And if you do too, you should definitely subscribe if you aren't already. And go follow me on Instagram at jsh.diy so you guys can learn a little bit more about me. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys later today. Bye!